great to have you with us. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll talk to Ali LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. Butler with the ball. Driving to the basket. And it's Butler who slams it down. Well, I like seeing Butler show off his mad hops. This guy's got big time bounce. Knows how to slam it down with the four. Now here's Butler. And Porzingis launches it from deep. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Incredible. He will hit that from another time zone. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. <laughs> And in 2020, the third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. Using his size to full advantage, he beats everyone to the ball. Nice look from Porzingis. Good vision there. That's what he has to do with the ball in his hand. Scan the floor, see what's available, keep his teammates involved as much as possible. Pass to McGrady. Simmons with the block. They recover it. Five to shoot. Intercepted. In transition. And James puts up a deep three. LeBron James. The long distance three is buried. James has got 11 points. Outside for Zingas. Gets the trifecta. Yeah, you've got to be aware of Porzingis in these situations. I mean, you know he's coming for the three-point revenge there. Outside for Butler. Leaner from distance. Fires the three. And that one's good. This stops Porzingis for three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Outside Russell. Here's the pick. Here's McGrady. Here's Fall. Oh, oh nice! Oh, big finish! Man. And he goes in for the dunk. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo! What a dunk, PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Now, here is James. 11 points in the game. Oh, I didn't think that was going in. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is other world. When you get open, he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and the pace so you can handle it. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. And here comes Cleveland. Seven-point differential. And slam dunk by Simmons. Simmons can bounce now. He's 6'11", but he can get up in the air, too. Makes dunks a lot more fun when you're that tall and can bounce like Simmons can. Porzingis sets a screen. And here's Butler outside. Nails it from three. 
I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. And there's James from the arc. Porzingis grabs the board. Here's McGrady. Give him eight. Launches a three. Rebounded by LeBron. From deep. Oh, Whoa, it goes! Whoa. Are you kidding? Hey. He hit it! How about that? Wow. Here's McGrady. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Kristaps the Porzingis getting it done for Detroit. He's found his ring. The visiting team. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Detroit. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. Now here's Smith to the middle. Stolen! And he's all alone. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And Ming, boy, I tell you, this guy is so big. He's a dominant force who also has a touch that belies his size. This guy is a real force at both ends. Outside Robinson. Pass to Matumbo. Back to Robinson. Count it. One for one to start the game. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Garnett. Pocket six. Pass to Yao. Baseline try. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. Away team basketball. Six on the shot clock. Here's Garnett. Fires the three. The rebound by Robertson. From deep three-point range. Now with a rebound. And here comes Cleveland. They trail by one. And that's an intentional foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. The home team on D. For three. It doesn't go for him. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And at seven foot two, all Matumbo needs is a position near the hoop, and he throws it down. Here's Yao on the take. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Outside Robinson. Screen by Robinson. Six to shoot. Fires at the elbow. Basket's good. Robinson's gotten his second bucket of the game. You know, right away, Robinson gets the ball. He's looking to shoot it. He doesn't give the defense any chance to close in on it. Pass to Garnett. Three-pointer.
and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Garnett has that kind of range. He can make that shot from out there when given space. I like the fact that he's expanding his game. First personal foul. First team foul. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Here's Matumbo. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. And no good to start tonight. Missing his first attempt there. Smith left side. For three, Robinson. He can't hit that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. One sixteen left to play in the second quarter. Castillo. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. When Yao gets the ball anywhere close to the rack, he's got one thing on his mind. Throw that thing down. Stripped it away. Over to the left wing. From outside the arc. He shoots again. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Come on, man. How do you even guard Yao Ming? No wonder he draws so many fouls. This dude is skilled and humongous. Both good from the line that time. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Smith outside. Pass to Matumbo. Can they get it? And he dunks it down. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And there's a pick. Here's Robertson. He got it off in time. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. You know, the defensive presence of Yao, that alone makes a huge impact. But he also hustles to challenge shooters down low. For a guy that big, that's really impressive. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's Robertson. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. James up top. From deep. A tumble with a rebound. Pass to Robinson. This for the tie. An absolute bomb from three-point range. The Admiral going to the jumper right there. Way to show him some, big fella. James with the ball. Shot clock at six. Inside. A tumbo. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got five. Check out the Kimbe Matumbo doing his thing inside. Using his height and reach to score the ball. Now here's Robinson. Here's Matumbo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Check out the Kimbe Matumbo doing his thing inside. Using his height and reach to score the ball. Here's Knight. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Outstanding move in the lane. Just enjoy that one at home, folks. No doubt. With some huge elevation on the finish. Boy, the defender might have to put his shoes back on after that move. Wow. 
Now, here is James. He's got 11. There's a screen. From deep three-point range. A tumble with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. When you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Now, here is James. Pass to Matumbo. Back to James. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Here's James. He's got 11. To the inside. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Outstanding work from Porzingis that time. Creatively sending that one home. He's off on that one. And it's Cleveland the other way. Out to the right wing. Here's Knight. Connects from downtown. Now it's a four-point Cleveland lead. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Right side, Porzingis. Three-pointer, no good. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. And stolen by Porzingis. He's got a clear pass. And that one is stuffed right through. How about Porzingis showing you some nice quickness and activity, determined to get after the steal. And here's Butler outside. It's not going to go for him. Home team foul. Bill Hustle. First personal foul. First team foul. That free throw good from James. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Cleveland calls timeout. The visitors with the ball. Three-point lead. to Rice. Boom! He jams it straight down. We know Rice is a shooter, but he's got some athleticism, too. Showing you some force as well. And here's Butler outside. Yeah, with a rebound. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Home team foul. Bill Russell. Second personal foul. Second team. No good on that one. Shooting for the away team. And he can't hit the second. And that's surprising. He's usually automatic at the free throw line. Ooh, he dialed that one up from long distance. You know, Jimmy's really a great playmaker from the wing spot, and I think at times Butler can play point forward. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. This is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. 
Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. They kick it out to Porzingis. Knocks it down from distance. Porzingis has got 12 points. I think you've got to run Porzingis off of his shots. I mean, you can't let him get comfortable because he'll knock him down. Pass to Garnett. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. He's got nine. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. And the game's still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Up three. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Now here's Butler. To tie it up. Let's a three fly. That's basket number six in eight tries. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Going inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. Pass to Porzingis. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. James, outside. Rebounded by Butler. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Here's Matumbo. Here's Simmons. And rejected. Porzinga sets the screen. Pass to McGrady. To take the lead. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Detroit. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. Another big factor for them has been their ability to get points off of turnovers. The easiest offense is created by good defense. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Monty Williams was saying to his team. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Pass to Porzingis. Puts up a three. Can't get it to drop. And it's Cleveland the other way. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Here's Garnett. Sinks it. What range from downtown. And it's a five-point Cleveland lead. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I mean, they're showing a bunch of fortitude here, keeping this game tight. Sinks it from distance. Porzingis has got six points in the quarter. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. Steal. Pass to Garnett. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. And he commits the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. 
And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Pass to Porzingis. Let's it go from deep. Now Butler. Back to Porzingis. Pocket six. Down low. Here's Fall. And that one is hammered home. Nice recognition there by Porzingis. He's getting better and better as a passer. And here comes Cleveland. It's a three-point game. To the paint. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And it's Butler off the drive. And it's Butler with the jam. And Butler relishes this. I mean, he feels really comfortable going right at the defense at crucial points in the game. Pass to James. Sinks the tray. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. Here's Fall. Here's McGrady. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Hey, when this team needs a basket, they look at McGrady. And he rarely disappoints. Pass to Matumbo. Here's Knight. And here's Porzingis. Forty seconds left in the game. Outside for Zingas. He takes it in. Yes! And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Pass to Matumbo. Here's Knight. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. <laughs> Great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. James, outside. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Sure, it's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Yeah, made for spots like this. It's the king at the line. And an intentional foul right there. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. Even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A big thank you to all of you fans who made it out tonight. Your support is what makes this 